Hello, everybody. Hello, viewers. I'm here with Becca from House of Lenormand. Hello, Hi. Becca. Hi, Jen. Hi. Hi, everybody. So we have been talking, I know for like a couple of months, the last time we Skyped, I think it was two months ago, about sometime doing a, a video together. Well, I watched your video yesterday on IG Horowitz or Horowitz, um, and I just had so many more questions. You were picking up on some really interesting things. Uh, for anyone who hasn't watched it, please go to House of Lenormand or Say, say it the right way, because I always say it wrong. Let it's House of Lenormand, or Lenormand, L-E-N-O-R-M-A-N-D. Okay, so if you <laughs> haven't seen the video, you, know, you may want to pause this one, go watch that one, then come back to this one, because we're going to be feeding off of that one. So um, in that video, she was reading on um, Horowitz and Barr and getting some interesting things. And um, we have someone who cannot be named because every time we name him in a video, our videos get demonetized. So we're going to call him Mr. Epps. And you guys know who that is. Um, we uh, are uh, not going to mention anything um, that we know he was doing. We'll, we will talk about the abusive ring um and put it that way and we're going to try and catch ourselves and not use certain words because certain words get flagged by youtube so pardon us if we're talking in code just a little bit <laughs> uh, there are certain names and certain topics that uh, uh don't like to be uh called out on youtube so my first question is is Barr william Barr, or his dad in mr epps's little black book <laughs> Hmm. So we're going to let um, Becca go first with um, the Le Norman cards, if I can learn to say it right. Um, <laughs> I'm getting closer, right? <laughs> yes, uh, yes. I'm going to pull some cards just to sort of um, complement what she's pulling. Oh, look, your doggy's coming in. Oh, yeah. Right there. Hey, Moose. You want to be part of the club? Is William Barr or his father, Mr. Epps, little black book i need to get lucy in here <laughs> yes have a little animal party okay william Barr or his dad are they in mr Ooh. epps little black book spirit knows who okay. we're talking about we have the fox we have the letter here and we have the birds um, there may be a record of a conversation in there that is manipulative or was being used to blackmail somebody. Um, but there's a record of some sort of a conversation or a meeting. Um, multiples. Yes. And uh, I pulled clarifiers. I have the crossroads, which is multiples. Um, I have the... Um, Clouds, which is the king of clubs. This could be his father. And we have the uh, the bouquet, which is the queen of spades. This is representative of a woman, usually younger. Um, so I would say yes. And it was being used to manipulate and blackmail. What are you getting, Jen? Um, I am getting um, involving overseas, the three of wands, um, the person of authority, um, something that has been going along on a long time with um, young people. Wow. Um, a circle of support um, and now having to defend themselves. Um, and I get the, the moneyed man um, and uh, family connection. So wow. I'm getting... Um, those six of clubs and those pages were interesting. That's yeah. like reaffirming. Yeah. I'm am getting a yes. I think yes that he's they're mentioned. One of the one of them is. Um, I'm getting the pair though here with the birds. This is usually a pair, and it has to do with phone calls and meetings. And it was for blackmail purposes, perhaps because we got the fox. So. Okay, hmm. so I have another question uh, off topic, and then we may come back to this. Um, is Barr working with the Russians? I don't know why I've never read on this. Okie dokie. Let's Is take he a look. working with, partnering with, in alliance with the Russians? Is William Barr in alliance with 
the Russians and William Barr in alliance with the Russians. Huh. Who's Luch who's Lushenko? 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 Who is that? Lushenko. Uh, I can't remember. Kind yes. of some of the actors in this. Uh, is that Clover? Positive. Key, the most positive card. Tower. Um, this is neutral, but it takes on the meaning of the other two because those are uh, positive. So it's saying yes. He's got the key or he's got access to an institution. Um, what, what did you get, Jen? I'm going to look up Lushenko. I, I've got him um, as uh, the King of Wands and uh, Alliance, Truth, and Power. And uh, aces for me are yes cards. So that's a yes for me right there. Here's the quid pro quo and money laundering card. Um, and... I've got somebody seeking some answers about this. So interesting. We may have to read on, is he being investigated? Lusenko was a Ukrainian politician whose last post was prosecutor general of Ukraine. Right. He, okay. He's the one that's hiding out in Vienna. Okay. Now I remember. There's so many names. Quite possibly around. a man, quite literally in a tower alone, but he's yeah. got access to it somehow. Yeah. Well, he, he's a, uh, been traveling around quite a bit so you know if he went to austria like nunez did you know nunez went to meet with that guy um so let's ask are they investigating bar um i think you know, you had done a reading on is ig horowitz investigating him which he can't because he doesn't have that um authority um mm -hmm. and they would have to pass a new law to get him permission to do it because he can't investigate lawyers yes um and we know with the Senate the way it is, the law will never get passed. But no. the House could investigate Barr. So let's just ask, is the House investigating William Barr? And all his currently right deals. now? Are they yeah. currently right now? Okay. Yeah. Are they currently right now investigating Barr? Is the House currently investigating William Barr? Currently investigating William Barr. Let's see. Well, interesting. I got the planning yes. card right on the bottom. <laughs> what did you get? What is that? The, the planning card. That's, you know, planning. making plans. Yeah. There's a very, we have the heart here, which is a positive card. Yes. There is, uh, we have the woman, a very passionate woman that's lucky and taking an opportunity. So I'm wondering if this is Pelosi or another woman in the house. Um, but I'm getting two yeses on this one. What are you getting, Jen? I, I'm getting they're watching him. They're watching communication. They're watching for quid pro quo and money laundering. I got his bar's Ooh. best buddy, the <laughs> devil. <laughs> um, you know, and I've got, you know, there's a cooperation going on. They're aware that there's a cooperation going on with Russia. And it looks to me like they're um, investigating. So they're probably keeping that kind of quiet right now, but it does look like they've started an investigation. I wonder uh, how long ago they did. I mean, probably since they got into power, because that guy has been just I, I would shouting say, it from the rooftops. I would guess that they started investigating him when he tried to diss the Mueller report, because they were going to give him benefit of the doubt when he was in. I would say as soon as he did that little speech and that yeah. little circus, that's Raise probably when they started raising, yep, raising eyebrows. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Mary Barr Daly, William Barr's daughter, she's 41 years old. Um, she's an attorney now in the Treasury Department with Stephen Mnuchin since um, February. Well, she, she left her previous post in uh, February 2019, started with the Treasury Department in March 2019 when her dad came into the Justice Department. Her, her previous appointment was in the Justice Department um doing opioid enforcement uh, law enforcement she was very aggressive at prosecuting okay. so <laughs> yeah like, i'm gonna watch the drug traffickers you know and and uh prosecute the crap out of them her new role now in the justice department now this really makes me laugh i have to read this okay she's 
She safeguards against money laundering and promotes national security through the collection, analysis, and dissemination of financial intelligence. So she has access to intelligence and strategic use of financial authorities. Um, she supposedly focuses on financing terrorism, like so people that are money laundering for terrorism. But she the, she's specializing in money laundering. How convenient, you know, investigate a few people in your own uh, <laughs> wheelhouse. So first thing um, in your video yesterday, you were getting that there might be something going on with her health wise. So let's see if we can take a look at her health first. Okay, what's her name again? <laughs> Mary Barr Daly. And her husband's also a lawyer. Okay. Mary Barr Daly, working with Steve Mnuchin. How for health? Okay, I'm going to do a box spread on this one, Jen. Okay. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'll probably pull a few extra cards on this too. I'll do my usual health spread. Okay. Let me see here. I'm looking for the tree. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. She's ill. She's ill, girl. She's she's sick. Yeah, um, I've got their watching their blood her blood right off the bat, like something wow. that show up in the blood. So what I'm doing is I focused on the tree card. I pulled four before and four after. And I'm going into a box spread. So the first card I'm laying down is the mountain. There's something that's, there's something blocked there. We have the key, which is something significant, important. Um, something to do with the throat or the thyroid uh, with the birds here. Um, there, she's got a problem. We have the snake. Um, it's been ongoing for a long time. It's a permanent obstacle. Uh, we have the anchor. Um, and it may be in the fluids of the body, um, here with the fish, uh, we're getting the ring. They're trying to find her some sort of solution for that. Look at that. Wow. wow. She's ill. It's something in the throat that's getting into her blood or the, um, thyroid. It's around this area here in the neck with yeah. the birds. Like it could be, a. Um thyroid hormones and things i've got she's very um, anxious right now um i'm also getting this is my stomach card that it's affecting her stomach now uh -huh. whether um like if she has cancer or something oh jen you uh, froze <laughs> oh, oh sorry no you're back you're back, <laughs> back. okay wait, skype does that sometimes so she's also got something going on with her stomach so whether it has spread to her stomach what i feel like is she may be on chemo and it's upsetting her stomach. Okay. Yeah. So I, I feel like, um, she's very anxious and that's also upsetting her stomach. Um, she feels stuck. She can't, she can't do anything. I've got the tower on her right now. Wow. Um, and I've got the, it's shaky at best what's going on with her treatment. Uh -huh. Um, she's in a battle. Um, for for her life basically and they're rushing in they're they're being very aggressive with treatment yeah. um i feel yeah. like um they're trying something new on her they're moving forward with something new on her um but the chariot can also be one of my transitioning cards um yeah, well, she's fighting it right now central to the to the box spread let me see if i can put this it's very hard for me to tell because it's a tiny little box look at that yeah there's no solution to her health problem. There's an ending, a loss, a serious, serious illness. There's no solution to this. And whatever it is, it's um, it's ongoing. It loops around over and over and over again. And it may also be, um, in, you know, um, uh, causing issues with her intestinal tract or her digestive tract here with the snake. But it's like it's in the throat and it's getting like fluids. I don't know if this is in regards to chemo. Or whatever it is, it's spreading, but it's making her very, very, very ill. And someone had commented before that, um, what did they say? S lymphoma. What is that? Hodgkin lymphoma is lymphoma. in the lymph glands, like around, you know, the neck and stuff. Yeah, with the birds. With the and, birds. And the it's somewhere around here. 
Yeah, I feel like whatever, you know, because cancer will show up in the blood. Like if, it, you know, I know, you know, one of my cats had cancer one time and it showed oh up gosh. in the blood that they had cancer. So uh, blood work will reveal, you know, if someone has cancer um, and they're, you know, they have to watch the blood all the time because um, when they start you on the chemo and stuff, um, the white count gets screwed up. Mm -hmm. I, I've got, you know, they're moving forward aggressively, but this can also be one of my transitioning cards. I yeah. pulled a clarifier and I got the last judgment and that's, that's not good. That's, With that's the like, people down there rising. Yeah. Oh man. I don't wish that on anybody. No, not even Mary Barr. Um, no. so it does look like she's ill, but let's see. Um, yeah, we, we had the whistle blow, whistle blower, whistle blower, uh, for the justice department that, um, uh, in the IRS that was whistleblowing on or uh, on the Treasury Department. Sorry, I'm getting my two whistleblowers confused on the Treasury Department because they claim that um, Trump's taxes were. Um, they weren't allowing the sta standard audit, the mandatory audit mm -hmm. So, is Mary caught up in the blower complaint on the Treasury Department. I'm going to ask, is Mary Barr involved with the whistleblower in the, um, in at the, the IRS? Yeah. I just heard at Mnuchin's behest, at his behest, like he put her. Let's see. Um, so I have the house here. Um, I have the dog, which is positive. It's ending with the coffin that's saying no. Um, but it could also be saying that she's not loyal to the family. There's no loyalty there. There's no friendship to the family here. Um, she spoke. Or there's a strong possibility that she used her voice to sing <laughs> something. Wow. Again, yeah, I, I think that's very interesting considering the cards I pull because I've got, you know, things change. Um, someone was bullying the IRS, you know, into um, not doing the audit uh, on Trump. That's one of my Trump cards. Um, and, you know, the whistleblower rushing in. And I feel like... Um, she's she's in protective mode right now of herself mm -hmm. like she's trying to protect herself um oh man um Ooh, she, she, she knows it's the devil's work you know yeah that, they, that put a stop to it she knows it's the devil's work to put a stop to it um we're gonna hear more about it though we're gonna hear more there's gonna be more money news coming out about yeah. that so we're gonna hear more about the whistleblower yeah, I just pulled two more cards to, on that clarifier, and I got the lilies and the birds. It, it's going to be a little bit of time before we hear more about the money with the fish, um, but it's there's more coming out. It might take a little bit of time, though, with the lilies being there. So. Wow. Okay. So, William Barr, is he involved in the abusive ring Should have put my questions down in order of topic. I'm jumping around a little bit. Keeps it interesting. <laughs> we got to chat and it was so much fun. Yeah. Um, let me see. Is William Barr involved in, in the use of we, we wanted to do a live stream together, but it's like trying to curb us from saying Mr. Epps <laughs> and yeah. all that. Um, we decided we better do it on uh, Skype first and upload it. <laughs> test, test the waters. Yeah, so, uh, sometime later when we're not reading on that part, we'll uh, do a live stream together. Because <laughs> there, there's nothing like doing an hour live stream or a two hour live stream and then suddenly realizing you lost your monetization because you said something you shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, so I have the sun, which is positive. I have the snake, which is negative. I have the house, which is neutral. Um, 
this is saying that there's something being exposed about a family that is um, not exactly honest. Um, and then I got a clarifier. I got the stars. Yes. Um, It's like he's trying to keep the trouble away from, from a family of some sort. And there was a woman involved here as well. Um, I don't know if this is in regards to a mistress. Um, this usually shows up as a mistress or an ex. But, um, yeah, it's looking like like he is. Yeah, are you getting like he's involved in it or is he just trying to protect someone who's involved in it? It's like he's trying to keep the light from getting to the family that's, that's um, like he's there to protect somehow. Okay. And divert that's, it a different direction. That's kind of what I'm getting too. Like, uh, I'm not getting that he's directly involved. Um, you know, it's, it's overseas, a lot of overseas dealings. Mm -hmm. But I'm getting he's in the center of it. Yeah. Um, and... He is a circle of support um, for trying to deliver the message that they want about how it appears. Yeah. Um, he's the hangman, though. There's there's a lot of delays. He's delayed a lot of things. So he's delayed reports coming out, things about Mr. Epps. He's delayed a lot. Um, and he knows about the shifting of the uh -huh. lead he knows about the shifting. Yeah. Um, so he's completely aware of it. Um, but he's he's hanging on to information. He's hanging yeah. on to tangible information. He's hiding it. I wonder if um, some of the stuff in Mr. Epps safe was disappeared. I think there's a lot of things in the White House that have disappeared, so it wouldn't surprise yeah. me, but we could take a look and read. Mr. Epps, do they have all the information? So I, I just heard overseas. I, I feel like he's got, um, you know, he's got more than the properties we've heard about. He's oh, got yeah. a lot of properties. Um, I feel he's like got he's some, got things. He's got some in France, doesn't he? He, yeah, he had an apartment in Paris, and um, God knows how many islands he had, you know, properties on. I I keep um, getting this image of a picture that has a safe behind it. Like, slide the picture out of the way, and there's a safe behind it. Yeah. I, I feel like it's somewhere overseas. Um, so let's see. Like, they don't have it all. They're wondering if they have it all. They're like, oh, look, do we have it all? Do we have it all? Mm. I don't think they have it all. I really I'm don't. getting that they have been able to identify a few people and they may be talking to someone. Um, we have the house, mm -hmm. the woman, and the letter. There is a woman here that was close to him that has the records. Probably the G lady. Face? Yeah. The G lady. Yeah. Grizzly Adams. Oh, how does, what does Queen call her? Queen call her. Queen calls her G string. <laughs> That's what she calls I, her. I get they're they're wondering if they have it all. I don't think they do. I think there's something big, tangible, yeah. that shows who all the work involved in um, financial records as well as um, patrons. Mm. Patrons. Um, I'll put it that way. Yeah. Um, and they're stuck because they know they don't have it all. Um, something is getting ready to be communicated, though. So um, something's getting ready to come out. And, you know, I'm getting that they're the hangman. Like, they still don't have it. Um, somebody's getting ready to talk big time. Yeah. Wow. That's so weird. 
there's what? there's more to come out so um off subject of bar and all the, all of that um the emoluments clause lawsuit went to the appeals court they met with um three judges privately um or, or publicly i think and were discussing the appeals and then um i think you saw where they were meeting with the, all 12 judges they haven't made a ruling yet as far as i've seen um will the judges support this emolument clause case brought on by democrats blumenthal and and 200 democrats will they because all the other cases all the other court cases before it went to the appeals court they've all backed the democrats up on it so now it's at the appeals court Ooh, fighting, fighting, fighting. There's going to be a lot of arguing. We, uh, Becca and I were looking at um, some of the judges that were there, and we were looking at, okay, were they appointed by Republicans or Democrats? And it's a mix. So there's probably, a, you know, a lot of fighting with the judges. And it's funny that you say that because um, you got the five of wands, right? My reading here ends with the whip fighting, arguing. Something that happens over and over again. Conflict. What are you getting, Jen? I'm getting that the burden of proof is on the Democrats, but they're also holding the sword of truth. Um, that's a yes card for me. I got Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. That's a yes card. Especially when I get two aces, that's like, yes, yes, it's going to. Mm -hmm. And then I get the chariot. It's going to move forward. Um, so... I, I'm getting all the money. They're going to be showing all the money that Trump's made yep. off of his presidency. I got the sun, which is positive. I got the moon, which is positive. And then I got the whip, which is negative and neutral. Um, with the sun, this is telling me there's going to be heated, heated, heated debate. Um, and it does become public. He does get recognition for it. They do get recognition with the moon in the middle. Um, and then I pulled clarifiers and I got the letter, which could be a, a literal document, um, perhaps the ruling that gets written. Um, and it is going to cause big problems for a person in a position of authority. Um, so there's something there with the false record in regards to Mango Mussolini or quite possibly false records also that bring to light recognition um, Russia with the bear. So let's ask this: Is it going to go to the Supreme Court? Oh, because oh you know, you know, Trump. Everything's <laughs> got to go on up. You know, I didn't win that, so I got to keep pushing it on up. Will it, will it go to the Supreme Court? Oh. Jen, wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, he ties his strategy is to tie everything up in the Supreme Court because he's like, you know, hedging all his bets that he's going to win the presidency and then he yeah. loses or he he's out before that. And then all the rulings come down on his head, like at the same time, that would be it's, freaking it's, hilarious. It's it's so funny because like, you know, they were saying the Supreme Court's going to hear his case about his taxes, you know, but they were saying on the news it could take six months for him to make a ruling on it. It's yeah. like, oh, no, we don't have time for that. No. <laughs> But it would be funny if he's out and then all the rulings come out and he's in no position to fight them, you know? Yeah. That would be hilarious. But. He's going he's to be, uh, you know, the only reason he wants to be president again is to avoid indictments because he knows oh, as yeah. soon as he steps out of the White House, he's going to get indicted. As <laughs> soon as that little toe is out that door. Letitia James, knock, knock, knock. Yep. Indictment. Yep. Candy Graham. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ending with a yes. Um, there's something here. I have the mice um, followed by the key, followed by the stars. There's something here that's going to give him a significant amount of worry and stress because they're going to unlock something and it will bring to light and expose everything. All of the criminality and the corruption, what he, stealing, what they've been eroding and stealing away at comes out. Yeah, I'm get I'm with you on that because I've got it's going to climb to higher ground. So I think yes, it'll go to the higher courts, uh -huh. showing betrayal, um, all the secrets coming out on Trump. So yeah. I, when you said that, I was like, yep, secrets are coming out. They're um, yep. 
they're going to take it higher. Um, you know, and this, it's interesting. It's probably going to go higher about the time that he has to uh, leave office. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was just saying. Like, wouldn't it be funny? <laughs> that was on the bottom. That was on the bottom. So let's do it real quick. <laughs> what do you want to look at? Because, like, even though we don't have his taxes, we don't have the emoluments thing, and everybody's getting frustrated. We know they're not, yeah, we're going to impeach him, but he's not going to get kicked out of office by the, the Senate. I still keep, every time I read, something surprising is coming out. It's something financial. Um, so whether it's Deutsche Bank and, and all the money laundering stuff, or mm -hmm. he tells on himself about bribery and extortion with another country, something yeah. big's come out. Um Let's see. Will he be gone from the White House, Trump, by, uh, what do we say, February 2020? Okay. Will he be gone by February 2020? I feel like there's something big getting ready to hit in December still that we don't know about. I keep getting that every time I read with Johnny from Tara's Apprentice, we keep mm -hmm. getting something surprising coming out in December. Oh, what a Christmas Christmas it'll be. Let me see. Will he be gone by, by February 2020? From the White House. Will Donald Trump be gone from the White House as president by February 2020? <laughs> oh lord he's laying on his coffin right on the bottom <laughs> yes ma'am i'm getting a yes what are you getting um wow this is interesting something really um something is is going to shake the balance of things it's regarding putin and the oligarch money and it's really strong evidence. Yeah, he's gonna he's the bully, the bully, the dishonorable one is gonna be anxious and yeah, pushed out, out, in the cold. out in the cold. Out in the cold. I got the sun, which is positive. I have the moon, which is positive, and I have the child, which is neutral, but it takes on the positivity of the other two. It's saying yes, um, there's a new career or a new something new that's starting for him. And it could also be in regards to exposing something about the career or reputation of a literal child. So perhaps something about one of his kids comes out, maybe wow. that just blows up everything. Um, but it's saying, yes, he's gone. I thought it was interesting in, in uh, uh, I've been watching a couple of your videos from the last couple of days to catch up. You know, I, I, have, I haven't <laughs> kept up, so I've been watching. And um, you were talking about in one of them, a. Um, uh, a child uh, that we don't know about, you know, a, oh. a secret child. And I did a reading back in, uh, I think it was in March where I was talking about March or April, where I was talking about, he's got an illegitimate child that we don't know about or a, a child out of wedlock. Somebody told me yeah. not to use the word illegitimate. Uh, so pardon me. Yeah. yeah. Wed wedlock. He's got, he's got more children. Oh yeah. Oh man. I just what? can't imagine he could find that many women that would sleep with him. <laughs> That's why there's my mouth a little every time I think about it. <laughs> that's why there was all those party favors, exclusive. Yeah. You know, well, Becca, thank you so much for reading with me today. I so thank enjoyed it. Everybody, please go check out her site. It's House of Lenormand. If you haven't, if you're watching it on her site, come watch it on mine when you're done. Um, <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. And um, stay tuned. We'll try to do a live stream together sometime. Bye. Uh, Yoda, you have to get Yoda to do it with us. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody.